Preparing a drawing for plotting requires specifying many settings and options that define the output of your drawing. To save time, you can save these settings as a named page setup. You can establish and apply a named page setup to paper space layouts using the Page Setup Manager. Let's open up the Plot Screening and Fill Patterns file. This is just another color example file on how plotting works with different colors. We have different fill patterns that can be used in some of the plot settings. This is what they would look like. Different grayscale settings. And if you screen things back, 100% screening means that there's none. 25%, 50%, and 75%. So the higher the percentage of screening, the less there is. I know it seems kind of backwards to me, but that's just the way it is. Now when you go to print, as you saw in the previous section, there's a lot to do. And if you have just one drawing that you want to print out, it's not that big of a deal. It, I admit it, it's not. But what happens if you have a drawing set that has 50 drawings in it? Do you want to open up each file one at a time, go through all of those settings 50 times? I didn't think so. I know I don't. Well, there are a lot of ways in AutoCAD to streamline your printing tasks. One of the key ways to help you do that is with page setups. So to set up a page setup, it's actually quite simple. You can go to any existing tab, right click, and go to the page setup manager right here in the middle. Now you have a list here of all of the available tabs that are in your file. This is the one right here that we're actively on. So if we want to set up a page setup file, we can. Those will also be displayed here, but we don't have any. The items here with the asterisks on either side are your tabs that you have in your file. And it tells you which page setup is assigned to it. Well, we don't have any to assign to, so there are none. So we have to make one. Click New. We need to give it a name. It will default to setup one. If you have a setup one, the next one it will make is a setup two, setup three, etc. And you can create as many page setups as you need. I suggest you limit them as much as possible, but make sure you have what you need. If you have more than one type of printer, if you have a black and white printer or a color printer, set one up for each of those. If you need to print to eight and a half by eleven, or an ISO four or ISO A, or whatever sizes you need, a big D size, a B size, whatever sizes you need to print, set one up for those so that all you have to do is select the setup you want to print to and click OK. Here we're just going to call it Setup PDF because that's what we want to print to. In fact, let's keep it even shorter. We're just going to call it PDF. Click OK. This should look familiar to you. This has all of your printer setup needs, but this is for a page setup. So we're going to predefine how we want to print. Since we want to print to a PDF, our device that we need to print to should be the PDF. I want an A size, ANSI A is fine. I want to print to the extents. Now let's print to the layout. So I'm going to print, and you can see when I move this out of the way, I can't see my drawing, but I want to print to that dashed line. That's the layout. We're going to print that. Scale is going to be one to one because we're in paper space. I will adjust my scale and manage the scale of my drawing through my viewports, and that's the preferred way. This one is set up to screening 100%. That's what we want to demonstrate on this, but I want to make a PDF. So I'm going to change it to ACAD.CTB. Everything else is okay. Check out my preview. There we go. It looks good. Hit exit, and then click OK. It didn't print. It just created this PDF setting. Since this is the one I'm currently at, this is what I want to use, and it gives you a bit of information right here. I can say set current, and now it's in parentheses. So what I want to print to is in parentheses. This is the tab, and we're good. Click close. So now, when I go to plot or print, I can come up here to my page setups find the one I want to use, which is PDF. And since it's assigned to it, it's already there. I'm good to go. I don't have to do anything. I can click OK and save. And now I printed to PDF.
And a lot of times you'll have settings for your PDF readers or your DWF readers to automatically open when you print to a PDF so that you can get a good look at it. This is what it looks like. I'm in Adobe Reader right now, and this is what my print is going to be. Now, if I send this to a client, coworker, a friend, or even my mom, she may want to print this out and hang up my drawing on her refrigerator. I don't know. But it's possible. Now when you're in a PDF reader, which everyone can have access to and can print for free, they can just print it from there. That's a really cool thing. So now let's go to another tab. This one is set to screen back at 25%. They can right click, go to the page setup manager. I can assign this one to it from right here if I want. Set current. Click OK. And now when I go to plot, it's all set up. All I have to do is say OK. Save the file. And it goes. And there we go. Because I didn't have the screening set for that particular plot style or page setup, it printed differently. But that's what I had it set up to. So did you see how much more quickly that was? I can come in here and I can overwrite any of these at any time as well. Even if it's set to print to the PDF, I can make a change here real quick and print to JPEG. You may have issues with customs, paper sizes, but you can pick the one that you want to use and then print away. But having a page set up is a great idea. I can make another new one. I can make it based off of this. I can call it PDF screening 25%. Click OK. And instead of my ACAD CTB, I pick the screening 25%. Click OK. And now I have options. I have two different page setups. Let's set that one current to this page setup. So now it will print the way it shows on the screen. So the advantage of making page setups is that it will increase the rate in which you can print. You can have everything predefined in a template file so that when you start a brand new file, all of your page setups are already there. So you just pick the one you want to use and have at it.